Hi, welcome again. Today I'm really happy to share our Google Analytics integration for Unreal Engine. So let's play this level, right? And then let's go to Google Analytics. Now you can see there's a user over here and that user is coming from Sri Lanka. That's where I live. And current active page is slash. So basically we track our game as a web page, all right? So then we have a playing area over there. So let's go into that. All right now let's go back to Google Analytics. Or now we can see now the user is inside the play page so basically we assign that playing area as the play page then there are some balls i can yeah we can do i can hit them and they'll have physics all right so then let's go back to google analytics then let's go to the events page now you can see we are tracking some events the moving ball and there are some actions event hit then if you go inside the events and you can see there are some labels pink purple and red so basically those are the color of these balls so basically now with that one we can track players where they are in our level and also we can send gameplay actions and events into google analytics and we can track them and analyze what's really happening in our game in real time all right so let's see how we can get this into your project so this integration comes with the fetch http client library that we create you can get that from the marketplace or if you're using for a non-commercial product or just need to try out you can get it from the github so check the description below to all these links and then after you install that go to edit plugins and search for fetch and make sure you enable this plugin now in the view options and make sure you enable this show engine content and show plugin content now in the content browser search for fetch right then we have a fetch content directory and then we have Google Analytics directly and then we have a, this example map. All right, now I'm inside the example map and then let's try to play. All right, then you will get an error like there are some parameter TID is invalid. So that's because we need a tracking ID. So basically we need to create a Google Analytics account. So let's do that. First go to Google Analytics and then go to the admin section on the bottom. Here, now we are trying to create a new account and click the new account button on the left and give it a name you like say gd4k test right then hit next and now for the very first time you need to create a property so the property is a namespace that we can send data into google analytics and give it a name you like let's say my test app all right now hit show advanced options here we have an option called create a universal analytics property check that over there all right and then uh, here we have a radio button called create a universal analytics property only just click that okay and then we need to give a website url in our case we don't have url so just put anything you like all right and then i'm gonna hit next and simply select this yeah anything you like all right then accept the agreement all right now we are ready to go and here we have a tracking id so simply copy this tracking id all right let's go back into our game so now we are trying to do a short demo with the example map we have. But after that, we'll start from scratch. Here on the world outline, we have a actor called Google Analytics Manager and click that. And here on the details panel, we have the place to enter the tracking ID. So I'm gonna paste the tracking ID that we created. All right, uh, let's try to play the game. All right, now you can see on the left side, the tracking path slash is valid. So basically, by default, we are trying to validate the events with the Google servers rather than actually tracking. So it will be useful for debugging. And also you can see, all right, all the events that you are trying to do. All right, so everything looks fine. And then inside the Google Analytics Manager, in the details panel, we have option called enable debug mode. So I'm going to uncheck that. So now we are sending data to Google Analytics. All right, let's play and and go to this area okay and now let's go back into google analytics now we are inside the admin area just click the home button now we are inside the my test app the the account we created and the property we created and here check the real real time and overview and you can see the all the information there all right now we know how to send data to google analytics now let's see how we can create our project now low level to talk to google analytics all right, let's get started from the scratch. All right, now we have an empty map. There is no Google Analytics integration there. First thing we need is a Google Analytics Manager. So that's the main ingredient to send data to Google Analytics. Now I'm gonna create a new actor. Right click, Blueprint class. And in the old classes section, search for Google Analytics. And here we have an actor called Google Analytics Manager. Select that, hit select. 
here let's give it a name like my ga manager so here we create a subclass of google analytics actor comes with the fetch library then i'm going to drag this into my scene and you can put this anywhere you like and here on the details panel we have the tracking id so then we can paste the tracking id all right and let's try to play this level right now you can see on the left we can see the tracking path slash is valid so basically we are tracking our game as a web page by default the manager send the slash page event all right now let's say here we have the playing area with the, this green platform so now we need to assign this as the the play area or the play page all right here's how to do that and go to place actors and here there's a section called all classes select that and search for google analytics here we have a class called google analytics volume drag that into your scene okay this is the volume that we can assign a page and simply scale this according to your the target area and then go to the details panel and here we have some options and first thing is page path so basically here we need to mention this is the my play page my play area and then outer page outer of this page is a slash so the idea is you can have nested pages or nested volumes right now we have this now i can play the game you can see now tracking path slash is valid so basically we send the slash path and then i can go to this playing area as i enter this playing area you can see the play is valid so we basically we track now the user inside this play area okay now i can go back to the normal area now you can see we again track the the player in the, the slash path so that's why we need the outer page path for this volume all right so now we know how to track pages so we can see the, where the players are in our game all right now let's try to track some events so here's how to do that all right now we have a moving ball over here so basically these balls have physics enabled so i can hit them so now i need to send this event to google analytics here's how to do that so let's open this blueprint so basically here we have a ball static mesh so we create that on component hit event so now we check whether the hit actor is the player if so we are trying to send that event to google here's how to do that so i'm gonna select this true option and search for google analytics right then here we have option called find manager under the lib google analytics so now we find the manager so basically we get the manager over here google analytics manager and it's a good idea to validate this is valid if that is valid i'm going to grab this manager so here's how to send the event so we have a section called category action and the label category is some sort of namespace like moving ball enemy or something like that and the action is some activity you do right let's say hit ball and the label is the some sort of like a identifier for the specific action or specific item so in this case so here we have label text i'm gonna grab that and i'm gonna put it over here value is some sort of int integer that that's something optional so sometimes this uh, naming is a little bit confusing so i add a link in the description with the google analytics docs and you can understand what an event is compile save right, everything's ready now let's try to debug whether this is working or not right click play from here right then i'm gonna hit this ball you can see i'm sending this event for the everything over here we use the debug mode because we are not tracking the data for real so now let's say you are ready to track data simply hit this enable debug mode checkbox and uncheck that now you're sending data to google analytics all right let's try to see okay i'm in the playing area and i can hit some balls all right and then let's go to google analytics so now you can see yep so there's a user so we have user just a few seconds ago and he's from sri lanka okay and then i can go to events and yes we are tracking some events all right now let me show you how to change some of these things all right now let's try to talk about the session in google analytics so right now we create a new session for every time you play the game so usually that's fine but if you need uh, some persistent session or something you have some options here's how to do that so open this google analytic manager actor that you created and now we are trying to override the function so go to functions override and here we have a function called get session id now here we use the parent session id which is a random id so let's say you have a logged in user or something then you can use that user's user id or username as this session id if you need to do that that option is available for you now let's say the default tracking functionality is good but you need to do more you need to customize this more since we are using our own actor 
this my GA manager you can open that and use the construction script to like do anything to the tracking ID or enable this debug mode or completely remove them and also you can track these events and pages using the low level API so for that one right click and search for Google Analytics and here we have two events track event and track page so select track page and basically here we need to give the tracking ID the client ID is the session ID and we can give host name this is not that important you can put anything over here and the path then that's the page path and also is debug so this is whether we are telling the debug or not and also we have something similar for track event as well Google Analytics yes track event so basically you can track the tracking ID client ID and category action label and the value as we have discussed earlier right so let's say you need to customize this a little bit more yeah, that's only possible so everything you see here is created using blueprints so you can customize this as you need and let me show you how you can get those functions and how to edit them click view option in your content directory and make sure you click this show engine content and show plugin content and inside the search bar of the content directory and search for fetch and now you have the fetch content directory inside that we have the google analytics directory and then we have the blueprints uh, directory right this is the place we have all the actors here's the core library lib google analytics and double click that here we have the track page function so basically here we try to some keys and parameters so these are the parameters of the google analytics api and we again call to this track function so track function is also available here so here basically we create a new http request all right uh, that's it for the google analytics integration I hope this will be really useful to try to see for what users are doing inside your game in real time and Google Analytics is completely free and it can handle a huge amount of data. So yeah, this is something uh, really nice. Alright, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.